wet spot here. Going around. Just trying to knock off some of these end rows. Pretty rough. Just make a nicer spray in. About half done with the uh, putting 32% on where it's going to be corn. So. Deep, but puttering around. Enjoying this tractor, it's it's nice. Oh, I got a wet spot coming up. Well, two days in, we got bust where this uh, boom comes down, rests on there. Busted this side about clear off and cracked on this side and that one boom is cracked so yeah that's why I need to work end rolls it's just hard on stuff uh, and then I have uh, replaced that solenoid last year it wasn't shut the boom section wasn't shutting off and now I've got the same problem with those two start out with the center one that one kind of goes off it doesn't shut off completely and the other one just complete completely quit shutting off so got two of those ordered so yep they don't break until you, nothing breaks unless you use it so got a little rain last night which is good hopefully it'll help uh, work in what what I got sprayed anyways so I think probably another day and a half or something I could be done so but we're gonna get cold so I'm not gonna be putting any corn in the ground pray for at least another week yet so the way the weather forecast looks so. good day to get everything fixed back up again explain my rinky dink setup here but um, just got a toad I th usually throw it in the back of the pickup with the pump so that way the cord will reach up to the battery and uh, the hose reaches back here just about right um, if I have it on there it doesn't fit quite right this hose it's all three inch plumbing but goes clear around the back side of the trailer and then comes up here and uh, she's got this deal there to hold the end of it <clears throat> but um yeah I don't know someday I think I'm gonna redo that I don't need all that hose on there it's just kind of a pain in the butt so but three inch hose with 32 percent it gets really heavy I wish I had a way to blow back the hose or blow the hose out but I don't at this point so but so yeah this is my rinky dink setup it's just got a 15 gallon uh, chem ductor I wish I had a bigger one but it is plumbed up pretty good it's pretty easy to rinse it out and uh, also got a little hand rinser deal there um, pump is a 
I don't even know what it is. Pacer pump or something. And I'm not even sure what kind of motor it is, but it does have electric start. That is kind of nice. So, so yep, yeah, that's just a little bit of my rinky-dink setup. It works.